Welcome to part 2 on our XML import series. There are three videos on XML import. In this video, we will show you the XML configuration in Vernon CMS. Open the XML configuration window in Vernon by going to the Tools menu, XML, XML import, configuration. Our first example will update the valuations for existing records. Give your import a name. In the Vernon data file field, type the data file you are importing into. In our example, we're importing object records. So we type object, hit enter, select object and click OK. Vernon requires a status for new records, even if you're not creating new records. Choose a status. Click into the default import file and click on the folder icon. Choose the XML file that you made, not the spreadsheet. Click on the field mapping tab. Click into the root element and record tag fields and they will autofill. This table maps the fields from your spreadsheet to fields in Vernon. In the data type column, there are two options, imported or static text. Imported will use the spreadsheet. Static text will add the same text to all records. We will connect our import to existing records with their accession numbers. This is a column in our spreadsheet, so we add the spreadsheet heading accession underscore no to the element text field. Click into the Vernon field and select accession number. Tick the import checkbox. Click into the replace append field and select import for matching only. The next column in our spreadsheet is the new valuations. In the next row, choose the data type imported. Type the spreadsheet heading, value, into the element text field. Select valuation as the Vernon field. Tick the import checkbox. Select append in the replace append field. Our records will also have the same valuation date, type and method. We did not include them in our spreadsheet. To add the same valuation details to all the records, select static text. Then put the information between quotation marks in the element text field. Select the appropriate Vernon field. Tick the import checkbox and select append in the replace append field. You will need to mark which fields should be on the same row in the valuation table. To do this, add the same number next to each field in the table group column. Click into the record matching tab. Because we are updating existing records using their accession numbers, we will select the matching with import fields option. Click into the match field and select accession number. Click into the index field and select the accession number index. Save the XML import configuration. You are now ready to begin the import process. Here is the configuration that we created for our second spreadsheet example, which creates new records. Thanks for watching. Now that you have created your configuration, you can begin the import. Watch our part 3 video on the import process by clicking the video link below.